that's almost poetic. Like, for real, if they were to do that, are you serious? They can rip. What? Intro. Did y'all like the video yet? No? All right, we'll wait. So what a lot of people don't know is the fact that we're already more than halfway through NBA Live 19, so it's time to start focusing on NBA Live 20. And from what I've seen from people, they're already expecting this to be an anniversary edition, seeing that the first NBA Live was NBA Live 95. So technically, this would be a 25-year anniversary if they were to do so. Now, in my opinion, a 25-year mark, that's very important. So what's equally important is the cover athlete that you choose. Now, for the last few years, NBA Live has actually chosen their cover athlete based on who's an up-and-comer and who could be a dominant force in the NBA in the future. And yes, it's worked out because James Harden has been an MVP and so has Russell Westbrook, and I feel like my man Joel Embiid will get there one day as well. And EA Sports doesn't have to stray away from that formula. They can still use that formula moving forward. But this will be the first time I say for the 25th anniversary edition, it should be a cover athlete that you've already had in the past. Given that Dwayne Wade has already announced that he is retiring after this season, I feel like it would be perfect to put him on a 25th anniversary edition. Or y'all already know 2K gonna get to him first. Yes, D-Wade has already been on the cover of NBA Live 06 when he was only like a third year player. But guess what? He might be the third best shooting guard of all time. And given that this is his last year in the league, this would be perfect for marketing for NBA Live 20. And yeah, I know, gameplay still needs to be improved and modes need to be deepened. I know, I already know that that's great. I understand that. So let's keep that out of this video in the comments. And yes, just from a marketing standpoint, this is one way that they can push the envelope, hopefully help NBA Live 20 sell better as long as the gameplay and modes are up to par. Just because Dwayne Wade is the main reason that a lot of younger people are Miami Heat fans. And another reason I say this should happen is because, once again, he has been on the cover of NBA Live 06. And y'all already know how 2K does. When somebody retires, they put him on the cover that year. Think about it. They always trying to get the greatest players of all time. They already did it with Kobe and MJ. So imagine them trying to do that with Dwayne Wade. That's why I feel like, for a marketing standpoint, NBA Live will get Dwayne Wade to be on their cover again. Part of the reason I feel like he should be on the cover is yes, because he's retiring. Yes, that is true. But I don't feel like he should be the only person on the cover. I feel like they should take a Madden approach and get two athletes on their cover as well. Someone symbolizing the end of an era and the beginning of an era. And for real, they could kind of do the same thing with Dirk. If you think about it, he could be the end of an era when it comes to the Mavs. And Luka Doncic be the beginning of an era when it comes to the Mavs. But that's all I got for today, guys. If you have a difference in opinion, let me know. Comment below. Don't forget to dunk all over that like button and check out my last videos. I'm out.